Pennsylvania's 93rd Legislative District is undergoing some changes. Among them, the municipalities that make up the district. The biggest change, however, involves who will be represented the district in the General Assembly. Representative-elect Kristen Phillips-Hill was successful in her attempt to fill the vacancy created when Representative Ron Miller chose to not seek re-election. She will be sworn into office on Tuesday, January the 6th. Representative-elect, first of all, congratulations. Before we talk about you a little bit, let's briefly discuss the new 93rd district in terms of what municipalities you now represent. So the 93rd district is composed of Springfield Township, York Township, the boroughs of Loganville and Jacobus, the boroughs of Spry and Dallas Town, and, and those municipalities were in the existing 93rd or the previous 93rd district. The additions to the 93rd district come from the 94th district and they include the townships of Hopewell, North Hopewell, East Hopewell, the boroughs of Winterstown and Crossroads and Stewartstown, as well as the borough of Fawn Grove and Fawn Township. Some coming from the 94th legislative district. Correct, correct. People who frequent the district office for constituent service, which obviously is one of your biggest responsibilities, Absolutely. want to know the answer to this question. What are your plans with regard to the district office? I have done an exhaustive search of real estate in the area and what I found is that the district office in Springfield Township is probably the best suited location. It is most centrally located and it's also the most reasonably priced real estate available. So we will continue to have a district office at the current location. Um, and the benefit to that too is that the transition between Representative Miller's service and my service will be seamless. Constituents will know where to find us. It'll be the same address and the same phone number. Good deal. So you're part of the General Assembly now, but let's back up for a second. Okay. Why did you decide to run? As you know, I've been a school board director for several years in Dallas Town and have a great passion for providing the highest quality education we can to our students at the most reasonable cost to our taxpayers. And one of the things that became very, very evident to me immediately is that much of what drives school district spending problems comes from Harrisburg. So I'm here to make some changes and hopefully solve school district spending problems. Let's talk about how we fund our school districts and that obviously is a very hot button topic in South yes. Central Pennsylvania. Yes, it is. Uh, popular or unpopular, property taxes are here. Um, property taxes, as we are told, are not a statewide problem, are they? Well, that's certainly what they tell us. Uh, what I have found being a member of a freshman class of 22 new Republican members is that many of those people who are new here to the legislature are facing the same problems that we are. So one of the things that I have done is to begin to build relationships with those people and hopefully our freshman class will be able to drive positive change that will make the lives of people in York County better. So you're off to a good start even though you are technically sworn into office yet? Absolutely. Good Absolutely. deal. Finally, what are some of your other legislative priorities? You know, it's very easy to come up here and just have your head swirl. There are so many things that really need to happen and one of the things that's helping to keep me focused um, are those concerns that people have shared with me in fire halls, on their doorsteps, in the grocery store, and other than the property tax issue, um, one of the issues that is of great concern is the overregulation and the burdensome regulations that our municipalities, our companies, our school districts are feeling. So I will be looking to affect positive change with legislation that hopefully will peel back those unnecessary regulations. If you have questions about this or any other legislative issue, we'll show you Kristen's contact information in a few seconds. I'm Scott Little. This has been Legislative Report with your state representative-elect, Kristen Phillips-Hill.